Hi guys, it's Paul again. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, okay, so this one's for my nephew William, who's asked for a uh, how to draw a tiger head. Um, so I've taken this has taken quite some time. So if you want to pause the video and copy what I've done, um, that's probably the best way to do this. I'm just going to show you how to colour it in. I'm going to do a an abstract, really bright tiger's head. Um, so to do all the black bits, I've used a Stabilo 0.88 fine liner. Um, so I've started with the nose, and then I've drawn um, these whiskers here, uh, these fleshy bits underneath his nose. Um, and then I've, I'm, this is all gonna be really brightly colored underneath his, uh, on his chin here. Uh, eyes wise, um, we're gonna go around, let me just show you what I mean by this, around the eye with the fine liner. You could use a, 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 f um, a pencil crane, a black pencil crane if you wanted to. Um, but these are really good, really cheap. You can get, at the moment, you can get um, a pack of 10 black Stabilo uh, fine liners. The, the details are in my um, in the description in this video. M most of my videos have got the same information about where you can get them from. I've got these from Amazon um, and they're really cheap. I think they were five pound for 10, four, four pound 90 for 10, something like that. Um, so what I want you to do, if you want to copy what I've done here, pause the video and get to the same point I'm at if you can um, as now. I'm just going to show you how I would now start colouring in. Okay, now I've got a massive range of colours here um, because I'm going to do this really bright. Um, hopefully you can see most of the colours. Um, so we've got uh, greens. Um, yeah, let's just roll in the greens. A few different greens there. I've got a silvery grey, a couple of uh, a, a sparkly green. These are all Faber Castell pencil cranes, you can get a pack of 60 of these, again from Amazon, really really quite reasonable price. Uh, blue, I've got uh, a sparkly blue and then um, two darker blues. Uh, these two thicker um, Faber-Castell pencil cranes just for a bit of, uh, they're good at, at um, shading in large areas. Then we've got a bright red, a couple of yellows, mustardy yellow and a um, more of a lemony yellow. And then a couple of a darker pink, kind of a baby pink, and a bright pink, um, another green just in case I need any other types of greens. Uh, and then three, I've got a lilac and a couple of purples, uh, an orange, quite a bright orange, and then a sky blue, okay. Um, so I'm just gonna have a play around with the colors basically and uh, see what looks good. Now, at this point, if this goes completely wrong, um, you know, and the colours don't look right, then um, I would just probably start again, personally. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a um, kind of a turquoisey colour to start off, and these bits here are going to be the same, the same colour. So this is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to colour in all of these bits that aren't black. Okay. So try and go in the same direction if you can. Um, if you're new to colouring in like this, um, then just follow this tutorial through really. Um, if you're happy to just go ahead and colour whatever you want to, um, you can you can change, make these as bright or as dull a colours as you as you want to. Depends what kind of effect you want really. Um, so I'm going really brightly coloured. Um, going to do most of this the same down at this bottom end okay um, and I'm going to do the same kind of colors over the far side over here okay and then I'm going to just shade in a few darker areas over the top of those but what I probably want to do just to start off with is I'm going to um, I've just done that and then I'm going to go on to the eyes okay 
Now I want to leave a little bit, I'm going to go this sky blue colour. I want to leave a little bit of white, okay, on this eye. So I'm going to go around this edge here and leave a little bit of white there, okay. Um, and you want this quite bright if you can. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do there. Um, I'm quite happy with that colour. Uh, and we've got a little bit of white around the outside of this one as well. Okay. Um, but not too much white. And it's in this region here. Okay. Now, for the eyes, to make them look really good, I'm just going to go with slightly darker blue across the top. Okay, so we're going to go across the top of here, darker, darker blue. Okay, um, and then we're going to do the same at the top of this. This one here. All right. So that's that's what we're going to do with the uh, with the blue. Okay. Happy with that. Um, and that's all you need to do with the eyes at the moment. Um, sometimes you go back over with a fine line if you want to just sharpen that black out. You can actually do the black after. Um, there's no problem doing that at all. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go back to the same kind of um, turquoisey blue um, and we're going to go all the way down this edge here, okay. And we'll start picking out these finer or darker shades on the inside in a minute. Okay, so we just have fun with this now and just, just go with whatever colours you, you think look good on the tiger. You don't have to have, um, it doesn't have to look realistic in, in, in as much as the colours don't have to match tiger's colours, real life colours. Uh, with an abstract piece of art like this, you can do any kind of bright colours. Uh, these are really good for uh, your bedroom wall or... Um, you know, birthday cards, that kind of thing. If somebody likes animals, somebody's really keen on tigers, you could, you know, I suppose you could uh, draw them, um, or even do it in paint. You could, you could. This would look really good in something like acrylic, or in oil if you've if you've got any oils at home. If you've got oils, just be careful as well, because um, if you spill it on a carpet, it just does not come out. Um, so make sure you've got a sheet, a sheet down. I'm going to do uh, oil painting. Okay. Um, so what we've got there is a little bit of uh, blue here. Um, just going to follow it up with a splash of blue there and a little bit here just to match that side. Okay. Um, it doesn't have to be exactly the same, but I'm going to just match it up like that. Okay. So it looks good. Um, now, in terms of what I really want to do is I'm going to do um, purpley um, in this area here, okay, so this is a sparkly purple, uh, I'll leave a little bit because I'm going to do a little bit of um, lighter kind of pink in there or lilac, okay, so I'm just going to go a little bit of light pink in this area here. Okay, um, and that's that's lovely. That sparkle, I like that. I really like that. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna follow that through. Um, we're gonna have a little bit of sparkle on this side here. Okay, um, and then we'll we'll go a little bit sparkly up here as well, but not too much. Okay, so that's that's okay. I'm quite happy with that. Um, so we're gonna follow this line here. I'm going to have a bit more on this side, okay, 
and the rest of this is going to be black. I'm going to put some black in there later, okay. Um, I'm going to box this off after, so we're just, we're just keeping it really square. Um, and we're going to go really bright green in this area here. So really bright green in here, okay. Um, and then we've got a couple of really smart bright green bits flash here, okay. And we're going to do some flashes in, in the ear there as well and a couple in there, all right. Um, now yellow, to show here, we're going to go across here with bright yellow, okay. Um, that's quite good, I quite like that. Um, pinks, I'm going to do a little bit of work on the chin in pink, okay. I'm going to mix it with the yellow in a minute, okay, so um, we don't have to do it all pink, we can just do a little bit around this edge, pink, um, and then we're going to go a slightly duller green in here little splash of green, okay. Um, I'm gonna go a little bit of lilac through this bottom section here, around the green, okay. Um, and then a little bit brighter pink, flashes of brighter pink around the bottom edge here, it's slightly darker, okay. Um, and across this top edge here, now this top edge, I'm going to have a lot more pink going through there, okay. Um, and then we're going to get the black fine liner and we're going to draw some, something like that, okay. Um, that's it, quite like that. Um, okay, so back to this bright pink for the nose, All right, you have to be really press down on this, want it really quite bright, okay. Um, now, top edge, very, very top edge, we're going to leave just a splash of white, okay. So we're gonna have a little tiny little speck of white there, um, just to show that there's a little bit of uh, sunlight hitting his nose, okay. So we've got pink right across this edge here, There we are, um, really bright pink, okay. Um, then we're gonna go for um, our blue, sky blue, across the middle. Hope uh, William, hope Will's uh, enjoying this. Have a go at this, William, if you can. Anybody else that wants to. Okay, we do get quite a few, I'll get quite a few requests for things, so got a few lined up that people have asked me for. Um, somebody's asked me for Pinocchio um, or Jiminy Cricket um, from Pinocchio, Pinocchio. So I'm going to have a go at that the next few nights. Somebody's asked me for it, okay. Um, but William, if you're watching this, hope you're enjoying it. Hope everybody's staying safe around the UK and around the world. We've got quite a lot of um, viewers globally now as well. We've just gone past 6,000 views um, this morning and 300 um, subscribers we've just gone past, which is amazing. Um, so I think we're on 302 now. Um, so I'm just putting a little bit darker blue through here. Okay, through the bottom of his bottom of his nose, all right, and then even darker, we've got a much darker blue here um, that we're gonna go up and round this edge here, okay. It's gonna go down into purple in a little while, so I'm gonna just do this, this top edge blue, okay. Um, and we've gone in from black into dark blue here. Okay, 
So again, blow away any any excess pencil crane. You don't want to be um, rubbing it with your hand because um, that's when we, we have issues with uh, smudges, okay? Um, so I'll bring that through. Now we're going to get a bit of dark purple in here if we can, okay? Um, and we'll take the dark purple across and down into just above his pink nose, okay? Um, and with a little bit of dark purple on this edge here, all right, and then this edge here. So we're now working this purple in. Lots of purple in here. Okay, really dark section of purple into this, this area here. And then we'll go back to blue in a minute. And just try and blend that in. Okay, so we've got this purple coming through. Around the outside edge, we're going to go dark blue. Okay, so we're going to go dark blue into purple. You can go over the purple with the dark blue, and it, it, it mixes quite nicely. Okay, again, blow the, uh, the excess away. Um, you can see how this is coming on now. I'm not going to do the whole video um, in one sitting tonight. I'll just, what I'll do is I'll just um, stop the video, finish it off, and then show you the final, uh, the final um, piece of art, okay? Um, but you can just start building your colours wherever you fancy um, doing some colour really, so it doesn't really matter. Um, what you want to do is try and keep this white or white and uh, grey if you can. Um, we'll go round this edge with this pink, because if you've done this side pink, you should really probably do the bottom edge this pink as well okay um, and then we can just tag some pink into here and here all right get some brighter pink going across the outside edge um, and then i'm going to go back to a um, little bit of um, turquoisey blue in this area here okay um, a little bit lighter through here um, and we want a little bit of this this colour coming in here okay so you can see that that line there now hopefully you've got that um, so building up the colour now it's quite uh, quite interesting this this section here we want to keep this white pure white but the end of that I want bright pink into red okay so I'm gonna go um, from here I'm gonna go bright pink and then I'm gonna change to a bright red okay I'm gonna go bright red across the top of this here okay and then I'm gonna bring the red through this area okay and then while I've got the red in my hand, um, we're going to bring this bright red down this area here. Okay. Um, and I'm just playing with the colours now, really. Um, top of this red, maybe. Okay. Um, little splash of red in here. Okay, a little bit of red around the outside edge of this, um, like that. Okay, um, second one of these, I'm going to do a splash of red on that there. We've got some pink going on down there, I'm just going to bring this pink higher up I think. Okay, um, and then I want my... Um, bring back the um, turquoise into this area here okay and then we're going to go for a sparkly purpley colour again um, in through 
this section. Okay, um, so we want a little bit more black. I think I'm going to bring some more black in. So fine liner for this. Okay, bring the black up and through and meet this this area here. Um, and then the rest of this is going to be a turquoisey colour here. Okay, however, I'm going to darken it off by using a little bit of grey over the top in this area here, the bottom. There we are. Okay, um, and then we're going to go with a little bit darker blue over the top of this one. This edge here. Okay. So this is all going to be slightly darker blue across the top of this. Yeah. Okay. Um, you don't want really straight lines here, so try your best to avoid straight lines. Okay. Um, I'm going to go bright pink again. Look at my hand here, I've got all the pencils in my hand, that's what I tend to do, just so I can grab them quickly. Um, from here you want a splash of bright pink, okay, nice splash of bright pink. Um, we're going to go bright pink down here, okay, um, and then I'm going to have a little bit of blue coming through. All right, so down to this section here, I'm gonna have a little bit of blue. Um, the blue's gonna continue. And then I want to try a strong purple now, because um, I want to flash a purple across here. Okay. Um, I've used a reference photo of a of a tiger here for this, but obviously it didn't. It wasn't multicolored, so I've, I've then looked at different types of art um, out there, um, and there's a couple of fantastic um, artists that do lions and tigers in this kind of uh, effect. So I'm using um, other people's ideas really here, and then just kind of playing with my own colours because I've not got the same colours as, as those guys have got anyway because a lot of them are using paints or uh, digital art so using iPads and things like that to create their art um, so I'm just using anything that I've got really um, so I'm using a bit of grey now just in this area here I'm going to go over this with a little bit of lilac I think um, a little bit of grey in here a um, little bit of flashes of grey through here, okay, just so it's not all white. All right, so that's good. Um, and then we're going to have all sorts of splashes of colours on this side here, okay. Now I haven't used this really bright, thick Faber-Castell um, pencil yet, so I'm just going to maybe do a couple of, yeah, that's a nice colour. Um, this is for large areas really, um, so I'm going to bring a little bit of this in into the uh, into the ears. These are the it's kind of uh, looks almost like like Northern Lights. This does um, a little bit more into this area here. That's good, like that. Um, and then we're going to have some stronger green. So I'm just pressing down a little bit harder. Uh, in these these areas here um, and we'll pop a little bit of this darker green across the top okay um, there we are so that's enough of that green I think um, probably use a pencil crayon for some black around here as well um, but what I'll do is I'll finish this off and then um, I'll post another very quick video just to show you I finished it okay and um, hopefully you guys have a good uh, rest of your day and uh, stay safe out there and I'll see you very very soon okay 
Okay, so um, as you can see, I've pretty much finished the piece of art. Um, what I just want to explain to you is that it's taken quite some time just to get this colour looking right. Um, and yeah, we've gone over some of these areas just to darken the insides a little bit there, just give it a bit of shade. Um, same with this on the inside of this here, okay? Darker here, darker on the outside here, but quite a lot of work in the ears. Um, but we want to leave it a little bit unfinished up there, just like the, the effect that's had. And then I've gone round, just to, to give it a bit of a frame, gone round with black pencil crane all the way round, um, jagged like this, yeah? Um, you could spray paint round here, uh, if you wanted to. Um, because this is on white paper, I can't then do the um, whiskers. I'd like to do the whiskers, but I quite like it without. Um, but if, you, if you've got um, something like, um, you know, like a, a, felt, a, a white felt pen or something like that, you might be able to bring a few of the whiskers in here or even uh, kind of an acrylic pen. But you have a really fine one. Um, I suppose Tipex, something like that, would work nicely if you've got fine enough uh, pen, Tipex pen, something like that. I think the eye's looking good because then I've, I've surrounded it by the black, dark. Um, and, yeah, we've got quite a lot of pinks in his, in his chin. I quite like the idea of that. Um, I think that the main thing that I, I like about this is there's quite a lot of sparkly pen in here. This purple's nice with sparkles in Um so yeah, just have fun with the uh, colours. You could change these colours completely. Um, hopefully you can have a go yourself. Um, this could be turned into a, a cushion for the garden. I've got a red bubble um, art shop, paulbembowarts.redbubble.com. Um, so I might post this onto my art shop and you can turn it into travel mugs or um, pillows, anything like that, duvet sets. Um, quite like the the idea of uh, doing tigers and lions in this really bright, bright abstract way. Um, so that's it, guys. I uh, hope you've enjoyed that quick tutorial and um, see you all again very soon.